All right, we're back. There is a new one if you exit out of that one. And then go to my channel and see the new one. There's no one here yet. Typical. Typical iPhone nonsense. So just wait. Wait, if you're just watching this, we crashed. My iPhone crashed in the original stream. Starting a new one. Daryl, thanks for coming back, my friend. I appreciate it. Yeah. I will say never buy an iPhone. They are garbage. Absolute garbage. The uh, stream or the, or the YouTube app crashed and then I couldn't open YouTube. So I had to restart the entire phone and that's where we're at. So give it a couple minutes for people to stroll back in. Now the bad link that I just shared everywhere on social media is no good. Fun times. That's all right, though. This, all these cool fish will cheer me right up. Look at these. I mean, we've all seen these, but. Pretty sweet hatchet fish. Uh, let me show you these shrimp. These shrimp are absolutely bonkers. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. But if you look back here, you can see like the white pom-poms. Yeah, there you go. Not not the clearest, but... Uh, Leo, I never got a super chat from you, my friend. So if, it, if you did it, it, never, it, didn't, it didn't go through. Sorry. But how cool are these? And they're just breeding like crazy. There's hundreds of them in here. All you can see is basically the white pom-poms, but there you go. They're so cool. I have no chat. Dang it. Um live chat there we go a member a member chat's not a super chat is this the good one it is it is barbara anyways these these are one of the things that really stood out when i was here they're just so cool little they just dance around there's a big one back there I think these are Caridina denerali or something like that. I'm not sure. It'll be in the video when it comes out. Is there some Amazon puffers? Yes. Where are they at? There is actually a couple tanks of Amazon. Oh, sorry. Let's uh, let's go find them. Where can I find Amazon puffers? Oh, right behind you. <laughs> it's facing me. Oh, gotcha. oh, those are Congo? Yeah. But it's facing me, not you guys. Amazon? Amazon puppers? J13. J13? Now they see you. That's K. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? J. Well, he pointed down this aisle. Yeah, yeah. He went through the aisle over here. All right. There you go, Kenny. Is this still zoomed in? Yep. That'll do it. There's a couple fat ones in here. I think these are still in quarantine. Most Being, of them are still getting, yeah. uh, getting fattened up. There's a couple that are okay to go. Yeah, you can you can see like this guy right here is really fat. That's a fish that takes months to get rid of. Too much. Leo says, thanks for sending me the autos. I can't wait till they get here tomorrow. Oh, my mic on, uh, here we go. Now let's look at the Congos, which are down here. Skirt, too far. And I believe these are still getting fattened up a bit, but you can see how, I mean, look at this guy. This guy's good to go. 
Purple Selfin Gudgeon? No. I think the only Gudgeon I've seen are Peacock Gudgeons. Uh, I will show you something else though. Ooh, look at these. These catch my eye every time I walk by. I'm not the biggest guppy nerd, but those are really pretty rad. Uh, here we go. I think you just got some of these, didn't you, Leo? Like, look at these Venezuelans. Look at the color. Chocolate cichlids. I don't remember seeing any chocolate cichlids. I just won some of Dan's red tail eels today, thanks to Kelly Foreman and Oink Master. Oh, you want to see them? Eels are over here, right? Over here <sighs> oh yeah, here you go. One more day you'll have master, Yeah, I don't have another day. Look at these guys. I was sorry about the glare. I just I haven't found a good way to combat the glare with the iPhone. These eels are just insane. Uh, I've learned that they eat snails as well. See all the empty snail shells? Like, how cool is that? Uh, fish room, yes, there are some kamakas, uh, if I can find them. These guys are like, they're not shy at all, right? Like normal eel, eels that just hide. Like, obviously they're sitting in their tubes, but you can see they're, they're out and about, super active. Yeah, there's another tank of them. Not as many, but. Where are they? Oh, here we are. Oh, this, this tank's better. Less glare over here. The Blair Bear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we see the 123? Absolutely. Uh, there's three tanks of them. Yeah, aren't they nuts? Like, there's, there's hundreds of them here. But. Take a look at these again. Like, you got people spending like $30, $40 on Equius when you can get these for a third of the price. And just look how good they look. Anyways, 123s, I think are down here somewhere. Look at, wow. Uh, no, no, no. I know they're on the, uh, sorry if I'm moving too fast. One twenty-three. There's Sturbys, Gold Laser, Zinguenses, which are gone. Here, are the most expensive fish in the warehouse. Um, some skunk quarries. All right, I'll I'll find them. I think they're on this side. Also, I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming. I don't know how long this battery is going to last. Here we go. All right. So being on the yellow sand doesn't do him very much favor as far as seeing the yellow, but. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just looking pretty washed out right now but you can see they're really good size um, hmm. can I show the dwarf merry widow live bears so I'm not sure which ones those are uh, are those the four spot let me uh, Mike uh, thanks for the, the uh, member chat there 54 months i appreciate it again if i'm walking too fast i apologize it's just just the way it's gonna be let me show you the four spot they're small i couldn't really get good video of them uh let's see uh 
I thought. Hmm. I can show you the con color look really good. The four spots. I wonder if they sold out. Do you still have the four spot? Where'd they go? Oh. They're hard to see because they hang yeah, out really hard to see. these plants. But there's a couple down here. And they're a tiny Well, oh, they're so small. Like, that's a naturally itty bitty micro mosquito fish type thing. Look at that. Oh, man, there's a good male right there. I just. There you go. Yeah, the camera's Ended. like, what to look at? What to look at? <laughs> oh, here's one. Oh, I even saw some spots. <laughs> there you go, you can barely got, got it in focus there. Candy says hi. Hello, Candy. Hope you're doing awesome. That's about the best I'm gonna get for you, Mike. It's, they're kind of hanging around the public. Yeah, but they just they're blend in so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what was next? Uh, let's see, I gotta scroll up. I know we got con color. Oh, sorry about my fingers there. Uh, Rick's orange. Okay, so con color. Con color. Oh, no, Pantanalis. Pantanal. Pantanal. Whatever. Uh, they're over here. I think. Oh. Here they are. So they're still a bit too small to be really colored up. But here you go. Now it's important to note, I'm sure you know, but they they need about another inch to go before they're gonna start, before the males will start coloring up. The females uh, don't color up. And the males really color up when they're when they're spawning. So there's the Pantanal lenses. Is this only in 720? I don't know if I can change that. I was trying to find the settings before, but there was nowhere that allowed me to change. Uh, average guru, there are no 125 gold reds. All right, let's find the con color. I believe they're con color, con color. Where would those be? Some really nice gold white clouds though. If you're in the market for some golds. Uh, oh, all these plecos are out. These are undescribed species. We don't know what they are. Kind of interesting. Oh, look at these. I'm sorry, we're taking a break from the quarries. And I love these. These are the Hamburg hyphen sword tails. There's a male. I love this fish. And I'm not a sword tail person by any means. When are the gold white? Uh, they're, uh, Steven, right now they're working, so I'm not really trying to bother them. Uh, I'm not sure when any of these are getting released onto the website. All right, let's look for con color. I think they're on the opposite side here. I need like a concierge. Tell me where everything is. Here you go, coral red. This doesn't do a very good job uh, focusing. Yeah, these are these are nice. Uh, those sword tails are stupid expensive, like really rare. But I mean, you see why they're so nice more coral reds okay con color con color con color 
They're good size too, if I can find them. Oh, here we go, right here. Nice bright tank too. Really cool. Red albino cauliflower swartails. Yep, I'll get those next. Are they jerks like the other swartails? They don't seem to be, uh, but they're just in by themselves. So here you go, you see that some really nice gray bodies with the rustic orange fins. These guys are in really good shape. Um, the other tank has some bigger ones, but I don't know where the other tank is. Uh, huh. That was not gone earlier. It's weird. Sunrise high fin platies. I really like these. I'm getting distracted. Gobies. Everyone likes gobies. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, I know you guys want to see these. Look at these. Uh, I'm not familiar with the species name, but these are listed on the website. Oh, two saddle. Okay, Whitesman Eye. Yep, yep. Whitesman Eye, then the uh, sword tails. Burmese Hill Stream something, something. Uh, super cool. I would say this is pretty close to full grown. But, I mean, look at this. You don't want to buy just one of these, right? You want like six. Not that they need to be in a group, but the more the more you get, the cooler they look. All right. Uh, White's when I, I know where those are. I was just filming B-roll of them before I started the stream. Whites when I right, right where Johnny's at. See, get in the way of checkerboard cichlids. It's impossible to keep alive, but uh, you know, these guys are hard to uh, get into get into focus because they again just blend in so well. But they are awesome. This is. Outside of uh, Aspidoras, I would say these are probably the most active Corridoras that I've ever seen. There's so many Hillstream loaches here, it's ridiculous. Like, so many different species. Oops, I keep putting my fingers in the way as I try to scroll through chat. It only shows me three comments at a time. But yeah, can't go wrong. All right, so don't forget to, to hit the like button, folks. Last time I asked, the stream cut out, so I'm a little weary. But uh, <laughs> hit the like button, please, if you don't mind. Here's the Melanotania. These guys are like really timid. So probably not gonna I'm not gonna bother them they're scaredy cats all right here you go the cauliflower swordtail look at this like there's no Photoshop going on here no vibrance no contrast they are just blood red There's so many like really cool rare sword tails here. Scroll through chat here. Where am I based out of? I'm out of Seattle. Currently I'm in Wyoming. I'll show you some other cool sword tails if I can find them big if and if I don't back here is where the signal gets kind of shady so let's see 
Must be in the next aisle. Oh, here's some really cool ones. Kawaku Wag Hyphen. Uh, these are supposedly a brand new color strain for sword tails. Like, how cool are these? Uh, I would love to see his beta select. Wait, scratch chat scroll on me. Let's see his beta selection. Also, seeing how he holds them when they're in his care, it can be very helpful. So, a lot of these tanks have like one beta in it. So, when I'm going through here, like, I don't really address the bettas in the tour just because there's like one in every other tank. And of course, now that I say that, I don't see any. Good old fashioned rubber lip pleco there. Uh, I'm really curious. So, oh, and then there's uh, fish room. There's just a couple sorority uh, tanks. So I think there's two beta sorority tanks. And then like this tank right here just has one bed in it. You can't even really see it, but there he is. I'm trying to find these other sword tails. Here's something I never thought I'd see at Dance Fish. A Lunacara. Like, when we were filming the video, I was like, what are those doing here? That's off brand. These are really cool, platinum half beaks. Uh, there's another uh, half beak in here that I am so in love with. Or I don't, I don't know enough about half beaks to remember the name. But here, here's another example, fish room. See, there's just like one beta hanging out in here uh, with the black tiger Dario's. Which, if you've never kept these, this is a, this will be a good one to look at if I can block the glare. So obviously we have a well, I don't know if it's obvious, but we got a female right here, and then males guard their little spots, just like a scarlet badass, right? But I think these look way better than scarlet. I mean, scarlet scarlet badass are cool, but. I love the black and the black and red on these guys. Uh, how are the discus doing or did I miss that already? The discus are doing great. Um, discus are doing real well. I don't remember where they are. Uh, but they're doing really good in the high 70s. Here's some yellow fin to Hillstream loaches. And probably the rarest loach in the world. Uh, and probably one of the most beautiful loaches if we can find. There's only two in here. Unless they sold today, I may have to drag Dan over for this one because you definitely want to see these. Let me find out. Did the last two of the red Hillstream loaches sell? Can we? Okay. I think they're 175 each, or are they a pair? I don't know. I know they're they're really expensive. Okay, can you help me find them so we can show them? Yeah. These are gonna get listed this evening. There's only two left though. These are worth, yeah, for these guys. I guarantee you, you have never seen this fish. I had never seen it. All right. Now we wait. <laughs> Looking for a splash oh, of uh, and then those stickies just sit around. Yeah. Oh, here's one. Right there. Right in front oh, of Oh, yeah, right here. Up. So look at the, the red there. That's a Bloody Mary Hillstream. Bloody Mary Hillstream launch. I'm trying to get the focus. But once they, like, spread out... There's, there's a lot more red there. See, you can see when they're swimming. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. yeah. You can see all the red when they're swimming. It's wild. 
I've seen five of those in my life. Is that how many you got? And there were four. Yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. five. Yeah, this is all I've ever seen. Oh, there's both of them right there. Okay. There's the big one. Sorry, it's a, I've been stirring it up trying to move this plant out of the way, but hopefully you can see his red through that haze. If I move this, it might help. Yeah, you get just glimpses of the red, but... <laughs> that did not help. <laughs> now it's yeah, really st <laughs> now I made it worse. See, still, does Jonathan still have one in a bag? Like, No, that shipped oh, out today. Okay. Even through all the muck though, you can still see the red. It's crazy. Coolest hill stream I've seen like ever. Yeah. What are the odds of getting those in again? We... Not. I've <laughs> never got them in before. Like I've never seen that fish before ever. So hopefully it's a male and female and somebody buys them yeah, and please. spawns them. Please, please, that would be awesome. I mean, hill streams are totally breedable. I mean, let's not take away from the yellow fin hill streams here, but you know, yeah, yeah. those reds, that red is crazy. It's, it's like a blood, again, just a blood dark red. All right, somebody wanted to see another fish too, but I already forgot. Where's the chat here? Oh, someone was asking about the rainbows. Is that, is that awesome Chilotharina still available? The one you used as a thumbnail pick? It was when you last visited Dan, I believe. Um, the thumbnail pick I used was a, like a wide angle shot of all the tanks. Um, I don't think so. I haven't, I didn't see them. I know which one you're talking about though. It's the one that I took a picture of and you actually used it on your website. Oh, Alan? No. They were, they were on that row. I remember, I remember Kaliwala. It was Kaliwala. They were blue. Like the blue one. Yeah. Let me look. I'll get back to you. Okay. Here's some uh, red tuxedo cauliflower. Just the reds are crazy. They're so red. Johnny says we have a nice clear pick on the site. There you go. I should have put... I kind of failed. I didn't put my uh, link. Oh, here's the sex lineata. Which is a dwarf species. These are pretty, pretty much full grown. Like the biggest ones in here is about as big as they're going to get. 720 does not do them justice. Here they are, Bob. There were okay. those uh, super encrypts that the Severums uh, oh, okay. tore up. There was some blue coming in, but it's evening. Yeah, we gotta, you gotta catch these ones in the morning. Like, this one, there's, you see some hints of blue there. I got a lot of them. Yeah. They're one of my favorites. I try to get these in. Um, would you say the Vietnamese Hillstream loaches are about full size? Am I back? I think I'm back. I'm back, okay. Let's look at the Gunthers. <laughs> Hopefully I don't cut out again, this is there's also like a crazy wild uh, thunderstorm going on right now, so not really sure what the problem is. These are, these might be the rarest fish in the warehouse. And I'm talking about the black with the yellow spots. They really don't like the camera. Yeah, you're, it's gonna be, it's really, it's, it's not unbearably hot in here. Like there's a, there's the, the uh, ventilation is really good. And luckily it's only like 70 degrees outside. Last year when I was here, it was a hundred degrees outside. So that was not very fun. 
what else? I'm trying to think of some other standouts. I'm kind of weary to walk. Oh, here's the uh, other Beta Sorority. Uh, yellow Banana Variatus Hyphen. Read the Hillstream Loach? Someday. Someday. Of course, Pandagaras. We all love Pandagaras. Um, these were... Oh, here's the other ones. Did I already show you these ones? Or is this... I don't remember if I showed you these ones yet. What fish am I bringing home? I'm not sure, to be honest, if any. It's reticulated hill streams. I want to say there's at least like a half a dozen varieties of hill stream loaches in the warehouse. So these are supposed to be Hawaiian variatus platys, but they're they're not. They're not really. But still a beautiful fish. They're more of just a yellow. As you can see, not all of them have the orange. Um, and then not all of them have like the orange and where they're supposed to be. So still, still a really cool fish. Uh, oh, you want to see the prettiest tetras you've ever seen? Well, I don't know about that, but look at these guys. Golden Congo tetras. Get it all the way. Maybe we can get rid of the glare. A little bit. Look at the blue eyes, the yellow gold bodies, the black horizontal stripes. So crazy. Yeah, these are just absolutely stunning. Yeah, there's my link. Um, if you want to order some fish, if you've never ordered fish before, you get 10% off. So, you know, if you order enough, you'll uh, get free shipping, essentially. <laughs> and then there's another tank of them over here. Just a really beautiful fish. Uh, what's on the other side over here? Some uh, Kerry Tetra, yellow hyphen platys. I think we already showed those. Uh, I'm gonna see, I might lose connection if I do. Stay, stay around. But uh, this is an unknown species of Tetra here, not the rainbows. Unknown species of Tetras, but there's some really cool ones. Where are they at? Oh, here they are. So this is the giant spotted emperor tetra. And the longer you look at these, the more cooler they get, the radder they are. Um, so if you look at the, again, the black stripe, the spots on top are red and the spots below are black. Also, their teeth are pretty gnarly, although they are, this is a mystery tetra right here. Um, so you can see their teeth. Look at that guy with his mouth open. Uh, but for the most part, these are peaceful. And for only 10 bucks, like, I don't know how these aren't selling out. Especially for people with, like, bigger Central South American cichlids. Like, these are big, chunky, four-inch tetras. I just think these are super awesome. They're just, you know, the thing I like about them is they're not like hyperactive, right? They're just kind of chill. They're, 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 they're chill. They're chill, but they're still moving around. So um, you can see like hints of yellow on some of them. Just really cool. Almost like an Exodon, yeah. No Exodons, no, no Exodons. At least that I've seen or know of. Um, these are some smaller rainbow shiners. Some really nice ember tetras. I was uh, messaging someone, I don't remember who, trying to, and they were trying to find some really good colored up ember tetras, and here you go. Just 
It's really pretty, really good color on those. Uh, I'm going to go back to the other side here. That can't be right. Grand Phonic, it was you. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. There you go, buddy. Like, these are... Here, I'll, I'll come back for you, Jonathan. Here you go. It, it won't focus on them, like, which is a bummer. But I got some really good footage that you'll see when the tour comes out. Can I show you the 136B? So the Plecos are going to be hard to show because I don't want to reach my hands in the tanks. Um, but let me see if there's any out. And I, they might be too far away. Because last time I was down here is when I lost... Oh, I got to stop and look at these every time. Whew. All right. So Plecos, what do we have here? Bushy Nose. What's in this one? The L411. What's down here? 124. Those are not, obviously those are not 124s. That's what they were sold as though. L340. 130, 136Bs, where am I going? All right, let's just check the next aisle. Oh, um, 174, 201, Bandit Cory. Hmm. Oh, here's some really nice uh, Farlow Wellas. Really good quality Farlow Wellas. I know we've all seen Farlow Wellas, but I love them. All right. 136B, 136B, mini snowball, oh the suspense, look at these guys, really good color on those, 136B, uh, here's a rare fish you don't see very often, the Tanganyikan killifish. There's only like two. Uh, I think he has like a hundred more coming next week, but really, really cool blue sheens that they'll get yellow fins as they get older. It's pretty cool. Uh, one, oh, here we go. Oh no, these are the, just the 173. That means we're close. We gotta be close. One seven three. You know, I thought they were right next to each other. So far, every time I've gone to that corner, I've been disconnected, so I'm not gonna walk down there. Focus, focus. There you go. Uh, I believe those. Uh, I thought they were in this row, but can we see the super whites in here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get you to the one seven three B's without losing connection. Let me, uh, I'm going to post you up here. Y'all can look at these fish for a second. And, uh, I'm going to go try to find the one seven threes. I'll be right back. No go, but I'm gonna to try to show you these uh, really cool gobies. Hopefully I don't lose connection. I'm gonna go nice and slow. 
Oh, I might have scared him when I walked by. So these are Rhino Gobius Zool, I believe. And the male was right out front. And then I scared him as I walked by. You can see a little itty bitty guy right here. They're really small. Just about an inch, but they have a ton of color. There's one. Yeah, this, this phone is just not doing it. It's not cutting it. That's unfortunate. That's what I get. Lots of folks like Goody Itz for their activity, but never own them. But personally, Goody Itz are, the nice thing about Goody Itz is the fry are so big when they're born, like they can just eat flake. Super easy. I think there's some Goody Itz over here. You're getting motion sickness. Yeah, right here. Uh, let's see, anything? I think we've already been down this row. Goldies, uh, some more Praycocks. So here's the cool thing. Uh, and one of the reasons I love Dan's fish, you can see every single tank is monitored and updated. Do not pull from this tank. Uh, they had three losses on the 30th. And so they closed down the whole tank. What other vendor would have a tank of 200 fish in it and then just shut down the whole tank if one or if, you know, just one or two or three die? No, they would just keep selling out of the tank. You know it's true, I know it's true. But nope, they'll shut down the whole tank. Regular Congo Tetrams. If you guys have any questions specifically for Dan, let me know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. I think I lost chat. Oh, uh, let's go down this aisle now. Did I disconnect? Where'd everyone go? Oh, here we go. Uh, sharp tail gobies. These are pretty fun to watch. They have some really, uh, really tall dorsal fins. Really nice. And who doesn't love gobies? Pretty awesome. Darter tetras down here. Uh, lights turned off. Really fun fish. If you've never, never kept them, or sometimes called hummingbird. Hummingbird tetras. Let's see. We've seen the pencil fish. Well, two or two. Yes, something cool to oh, I think I might be disconnected. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it says I'm live, but I've gotten no updates, but. Okay. Still rolling with it. Hello. See, they just put pellets in and they're going to hoard them. It's really fun to watch. So these are the Soelia, some other species besides the Nihilata. We've got those big kind of gold blotches on the back and on the sides. And I just love how they attack the food. Like the sand goes flying and it's just fun to watch. If we were live, wouldn't chat come through? Or is chat just not working? No, there's no chat at all. Okay. Let me go check on my computer and see if... All right. right. I'll check right here on my phone. Let's see if I can find you. I enjoy those just because they get very excited at feeding time. I like how there's like 10 pellets in there, but they're all going after the same one. Yeah, yeah. Watching. 
We gotta get through an ad. <laughs> Chat is good. We're still here and can hear you, says Barbara Jackson. He's good. Yeah, they they can see you. Oh yeah. You're, there you are. That's so bizarre. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm stuck at 156. All right. I'm not getting any chat. Let me go stand by the router. <laughs> See what happens, because I don't, I don't have chat. I'm going to stand by the router. I don't know if that I have a way to refresh chat. Maybe I'll switch to top chat. Come on, come on. Now I lost chat altogether. All right. You guys can look at these cherry shrimp while I try to figure this out. Don't ever buy an iPhone. I'm telling you that right now. iPhones are the worst. What if I... What if I flip you around? Mm -hmm. Still no chat. Oh, this is fun. Okay. One second here. Can you bring me the laptop, please? Thank you. All right, now I got chat. <laughs> this is how I got to do chat. I got to carry my laptop around. <laughs> okay. You want a cart? Uh, yeah, there's one down here iPhones are the worst. I'm sure this is a YouTube problem. Okay. Now that I've missed everyone's chats for the last 10 freaking minutes. Uh, okay, look at this. I can put the stupid apple there. I can tripod this stupid Apple phone. Right? Now look. <laughs> All right, so if you said anything in the last, uh, you know, 15 minutes, you're gonna have to repeat it. Now I feel like I need a rolly chair too. This phone is like brand new iPhone 14 Pro. Literally brand new. Danikin Aquatics, what's going on, my friend? Hopefully I didn't miss any super chats because then I would feel like a turd. Oh, we're gonna keep rolling with the janky phone. I'm just uh, trying to... All right. There we go. Get a rascal, I wish. <laughs> All right. This is friggin' awesome. Any Epistos? Yes, Kenny. There's Panduro. Uh, I think there's some in the next aisle over. Maybe. Looking for Epistos. Literally spent like eight hours filming and it's everything's like such a blur uh, I can show you some nice golden backs there really good quality oh boy just everything's going wrong <laughs> Well, I guess that's it. Show's over. Lights are off.
There we go. Show's resumed. Ah, Kenny. I'm like so discombobulated now. A Pistos. We're looking for a Pistos. Oh, Where can we find some? Fire Reds are down here. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Fire Red. Have you shown the Panduros? Not yet. I mean, I was looking for them. I knew they were over here somewhere. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Welcome to live streams on the road, people. Check these out. There you go. And not a single death, not a single problem. Like clear health card. These guys have been awesome. They're hobbyist bred and raised, so that makes a big difference. Oops, gotta scoot back a little. All right, Kenny, there you go. And let's look at the other ones. All right, some down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I lost my laptop now. There we go. Well, shut up. There we go. <laughs> well, I can't go too far down. All right, might get disconnected. Let's see what happens. Uh, what's the... Here they are. These are the good ones, yeah. Really oh, here pretty. we go. There's two males and six females, I think. Let's see, there's that male in the back there. There, we can see him now. Don't worry, Kenny, I got some nice 4K video of these guys. I'm hoping to have the video out in less than a week from when I get back. Woo! That's so much footage. That's a lot through. of footage. Here's, oh, here's some of the cool sword Fant tails. Fantasia fish is what I call these. These tails are insane. Yeah, look at her, look at her tail. That's wild. Nice. Cool. All right, back to chat. Let's see what chat says. Yellow gobies are on the site. Did you hear? Did I hear you say Rhino Gobius Zul? Oh, Alec, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're actually here somewhere. Oh. The Zul? Zul, Zul, Zul. Shui. Oh, yeah, they are over here, huh? All right, the last time I tried to show these, I got disconnected, Alex, so. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go slow. Where are they at? Here they are. Oh, the mail is out. Let's see. It's not gonna focus, cause, you know, it's just not, but. Oh, come on, get there. It's trying. It's struggling. There's quite a few in here. Uh, they're very timid, though. Super timid. See another one on the back there. I got, uh, again, I got some really good footage of these guys, so... You'll get um, you'll 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 get you'll get some 4K footage. Uh, here's some horse face loaches. These guys are almost impossible to film. As soon as you get anywhere close, they just dart. Yeah, there you go. And just really hard to see on that sand. Oh, I wanted to show the uh, those cool half beaks I was talking about like an hour ago. Lost my chat. There it is. Whoop. Kinda wanna make the one and a half hour drive for the fourth. I would highly recommend it. Um, that's when I was trying to come out, but just not a good time for me. No, 
still waiting for an electric blue apisto. There are blue apistos. I don't remember the name. iPhones are a nope. Yeah, I'll never get another one. I actually have two of them now. I went from... Uh, here's a wild sword tail. Uh, I'm wrong, but uh, this is a wild type of live bear. Bocilia gilii. Can people can people buy fish at the meet and greet? Um, Davis. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, they are doing an open house the weekend before the 4th of July, and they're going to be barbecuing. Um, uh, so yeah, open house, I think it's Saturday and Sunday. So feel free to come on up. Oh, here's some really nice guppies. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, and I would, I would, uh, yeah, wild molly. Sorry, I don't know why I said sword tail. Uh, can we see the Lemia Paraguay? Uh, yes. I will keep my eye, eye out for them. I don't know where they are offhand. Uh, but here's some really nice platinum uh, Dumbo ear guppies. Can you imagine these in like an outdoor tub? You'd be able to see them from a mile away. Again, I'm not a huge guppy person, but I, I am in love with these. Uh, here's another sword tail up here. Pineapple sword tail. Just monsters. Uh, there's some really nice uh, geophagus over here. These are so cool. Of course, they were just fed, so the water. All right, calm down. I'll back up a little bit. Relax. Uh, oh, kamakas. Here's the kamakas if you're still here and looking for them. Not a lot of color in them yet, but uh, looking good. I got uh, about another half inch and they'll start coloring up. There's the real, the actual real centeniensis rainbow here somewhere. I think here. Yeah, so these are the real uh, Chilotherina centeniensis. I believe these were collected by Johannes Graf, if I remember correctly. Look at the nice black fins. That's so awesome. All right, got to go back to the laptop. Oh, yes, I do love these. I think I already showed these. Uh, what else do we got? Albino thread finicaras. Oh, here's the discus that uh, was asked about earlier. As you can see, they're all doing just fine. 78, 79 degree water. Some blue coral platies. One of my, I'm still trying to find the 173 Bs. Um, Here's the regular L236, so not the super white, but still pretty dang good looking. It's the Amazons, the orange lasers, pumpkin shrimp. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's some really cool gobies. These guys are so fun to watch. Here you are. Had a couple deaths here, but uh, nothing for the, like the last couple weeks, so that's good. But these are pretty red. If I could get it to focus. But gener generally pretty active, as you can see. Survive quarries, Rummy nose, orange Venezuelans. Oh, I lost my cart. I lost the cart. All right, coming back to chat here. All 
Okay, I'm going to stop walking around for a minute and uh, focus on chat. You guys can look at these con colors. Ugh. There you go. All right, sorry chat. How warm do they keep the room? Uh, it's about 79, I believe, 79. And uh, Devo, uh, I'll ask. I, I'm pretty sure. Do rusty cichlids only have three to four babies at a time? No, you should be getting like 30, 20 or 30. We can still see you. Am I in like the reflection? Probably, I'm like kneeling down right in front of the tank that I'm showing. Hello. Uh, yeah, brilliant powder blue form. There you go. Dan is in Sheridan. Sheridan. I don't know how far away that is from Cheyenne. This is freaking awesome. Loose nut at the end of the handle. Nice. You need a good phone, Bob. I, I, the iPhone is really good for video, though. I will say that. More about the meet and greet. Let me go. Uh, let me go find Dan. I'm right here. All right. Everyone's asking about the meet and greet. More info. Can okay. we? Can uh, one specific question? Can we buy fish at the meet and greet? Yeah. If you got a way to get them home, sure. Absolutely. All right. Now, general well, details. Yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Um, as long as, like, bring your phone. Uh, as long as we check on the app, on the uh, the website's real phone friendly. So probably half of you already shop on your phone on the website. Uh, all our inventory control and everything is done through that. As long as you have an account on the website, dancefish.com, then it should be no problem. All right. And now, what are the just the general details like? Well, um, it's going to be the second and the third, so people probably start arriving the first, I would imagine, and then we'll be open the second and the third. Um, we imagine this is kind of just a very casual thing. We'll do barbecue, so we'll, we'll cook for everybody, and people can basically come hang out. I think you could easily kill two days in here and still I did. see more. I did, and I and you did three last time. Yep. And two <laughs> was two was not enough. We were just thinking earlier today. Man, we should have made this three. We haven't got even close to what we need to, as far as video and fish and stuff. So I think that's possible. But there's also some just awesome nature around here. One thing I like to do in the evenings is go on what I call a moose safari. I take people up the mountain and they get to see moose. A lot of people have never seen moose. Uh, things like that, but. We don't have any hard and fast plans. We just want to get fish geeks together here. There's a lot of neat stuff to see. And basically, sit around and talk fish and eat. And maybe go on a couple trips to some lakes or things that people want to. So that's really all it is. Yeah, the scenery is really nice out here. Um, our first time ever doing anything like this. So we said, let's keep this in. Let's just tell people they can come. We'll cook for them. And, uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know if uh, zero people will come or a hundred will come. I, I, I know some folks are planning to come, but could it just be you and me? I don't know. <laughs> well, and John. Well, from the chat, it sounds like there's a couple people driving up already. Yeah, awesome. And can you show us where the Limia Paraguay are? Oh, yeah, they're right. Oh, well, look at so that. this is absolutely, is this the one you're talking about? No, the library. Oh, Limia. Limia, oh, sorry, yeah. Sorry. This is paroensis I got mm. I mean yeah. still cool tell us about this real quick okay, so this is an annual killifish um, from Peru we might see them better in the tank below because it's not as blocked by plants I got a male right up front beautiful, so I'm not leaving beautiful these used to be called Terralibus paroensis they've now Costa redid all the fish in South America now these are called um, Aphiolibius paroensis they're an annual species they breed like crazy they're beautiful they're peaceful they're hardy we haven't lost a single one 
if you've wanted to try killifish, these are these are so beautiful. Like, look at how unique this is. This is just that is such a neat fish. Um, they eat flakes, they eat pellets, they eat bloodworms. This is not a difficult fish to keep by any means. And when they spawn, what's super cool, these are an annual species. When they spawn, they'll dive down and literally bury themselves. These will go down like three inches into the mud or the peat moss or whatever you're using and uh, literally disappear, lay the eggs deep down and then come back up. It's really cool to watch. Awesome. We've got a, our, our sex ratio is, is uh, we've got what, 21 males and 63 females. So perfect. You know, it's a good breeding group ratio. Yeah. Awesome. I was so, and they individually bagged every one of these, like they took care of them. It was, it was good. All right. Oh yeah, I'll take the, I keep forgetting about the cart. And uh, we will get to the Cali Tawas after. Cali Tawas risky, it's on the no white. I know. Side. All right, here's the Libyan Petruchier. This is our breeding colony. Oh, that's right. I walked right past them like three times. If you've never seen this fish in person, don't trust the pictures or videos. They, they are Especially this video is awful. Pretty. Here's a dominant male right here. So you've got, oh, I just yeah. him off. He doesn't like that bright green phone case. Yeah, I probably should have taken that off, but um, it's just a plant. Like, <laughs> obviously easy to spawn because there's tons yeah, of babies yeah. in here. All you need is a lot of plants and some food. Um, jewel spangles on there the side. Here comes the male. yellow fins with nice black contrast. Just a superb looking fish. You couldn't make, like, that's, that, you, we couldn't figure how to make that. Only nature could make that fish. All right, and now, oh, one other cool one. Oh Miller, yeah, the Catamaca live bear. I can't stop these from breeding. I think I started with six. And uh, look at them go. <laughs> see. Basically, a sword tail without a sword from the Zephyrus genus. Mm. And so many babies in all this Java moss, like everywhere. And again, better footage on the video than what I'm getting now. Oh. Sorry, we caught out of this tank today, so we pushed the light back. Oh uh, yeah, I'm on the I'm on pretty limited. It's only in 720 too. Oh, got it. Okay. I forgot about that on the phone. So anyway, yellow fish with like uh, black speckles all over, not uniform, like a mottled speckle type thing. Yeah. Hopefully there are some good shots in there. Fish tank barn. Mike says he has a ton of those now too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, making my way to the Cali Tawa. Pretty sure I know where these are because I love them. All right, I gotta go slow. I don't want to lose connection. Here we are. All right, these guys are gonna be like spazoids for sure. One of my favorites, um, probably like of all the new rainbows that have come out the last couple of years, probably my second or third favorite, definitely a top five. I just like love the orange fins, like they're so cool. And obviously a good schooling fish when they're scared of an iPhone. So most, if not all of the B-roll footage you're gonna see in the video is gonna be from the iPhone. It actually does a really good job, so. Let's see, turn around and hit the Marisai again because these are probably my second favorite of all the new species that are getting getting collected. Very similar. But uh, when these guys are fired up, they're really jet black. It's pretty awesome. I need two trios of, I'm not sure if you can, if you can like pick it by sex. And Zen Ginger, thanks again for dropping that link. Cichlids 23, Lake Tanganyika Killifish. There's only two left. Uh, they're on this row too. 
So there's only two left, uh, Kurt, but they did, uh, he did order a hundred more. And I think they're gonna be coming in next week. They look terrible um, on the live stream here. And of course they're in the bubbles. And uh, still a little bit small, so not a lot of color, but you can kind of catch the blue sheen every once in a while, uh, but not, lar not large enough to have the yellow fins yet super active they're kind of like a danio um or even like i guess even like a rainbow fish you can see i i, I kind of compare them to danios though because they're total spazoids they're just constantly i mean look at this guy what a what a whack job i gotta need some meds or something chill out all right any any other last minute requests here Let's see. They will need to be almost twice that size to see the color. Yep. Zoom, zoom. Yeah, they're they're uh, they're awesome. They're awesome. I remember seeing those about ten years ago, and instantly fell in love with them. A ton more marisite down here, and actually one of them. You can't really tell, but one of them has kind of got the black the black thing going on there. The good old fashioned Bozmani here. So I'm gonna go back up to this row here, cause I don't think we spent enough time there and then probably end it. Blue Diamond Angels, where are those at? Um, oops, there we go. Some pretty sweet quarries there. Uh, Rabudia, Rust Quarry, Dark Red Platy, Reynolds Eye Quarry. Uh, I think the Angelfish are in the next one over. Here. Look at this fish. You'd think that fish is dead, but no, he's not. These are Tatia Musica, I believe. I might be mistaken, but they're the ninja wood cat. They kind of look like little mini killer whales. And they just hang out. Like, I don't know if you can see his gills. Like, they just hang out upside down. Kind of like Bushinos or Plecos do every once in a while. Really beautiful fish. Head standard, skunk quarries. Where the heck are the angels at? Kenny, you're making me walk a lot today, my friend. I know they're on a bottom row somewhere. Uh, let's see, with those with the pistols. Oh, there they are, see? Yeah, there they are. Empty. These are the CW62. I've got a colony of these. Probably came out of this tank. Where the heck are they at? Here's some more Episto Borelii. This is just a wild type Borelii. Uh, there's some opal ones around here somewhere too. Um, dwarf chain loach. I mean, everybody needs some dwarf chain loaches in their tanks. All right. All right. There's not a lot of rainbows here, or uh, angelfish here, so I'm not exactly sure where they were. Oh, here we go. These are just kind of some mixed species, kind of holdbacks, things like that. Not the ones you're looking for, unfortunately. I'm just not seeing them. We've already been down this aisle like three times. I'm gonna attempt to come back here. If this cuts out, then the stream is over. 
it doesn't it's gonna be a little loud here but I want to show these golden dwarf cichlids I've tried this fish multiple times I've never found a good source for them but these are just super healthy they're Nanakara anomala or some version of that name sorry about the noise but we're in the filter side of the, of the room here really cool little dwarf cichlid nice gold blacks on them here's Here's my favorite all-time rainbow fish, the Skull Creeks, which Leo, I believe, has some. Hopefully he'll start breeding them. Of course, the best schooling tetras, the Coste tetra, or the black line tetra. Just not seeing any angels. How about a bunch of super reds? How awesome is that? I think there's only like one tank of angels, and I have no idea where they are. Pygmy Garamis, uh, some really nice uh, ornate gobies. Pretty cool. I mean, you can't go wrong with gobies. I know, you, I know, you, I know you guys can't see them, but I'm still gonna show them. Some really cool splash tetras and albino crebenzes, but the splash tetras are what I want to show off. Uh, the last fish I want to show you is the half beak that I was talking about like an hour ago. I don't know where they are. I'm going to check in with chat here real quick. Dan hides them in the washing machine? Yeah. The washing machine is new. That's new to me. <laughs> fish fan Link says, show you're having a good time by hitting the like button. Yes, please hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. Love my skull creeks. Yep, yep, yep. And okay, I like tensions are all the angels. Winces. Okay, I'm gonna try to find the half beaks. And the problem is, I don't know enough about half beaks to remember what their name was. Um, here's a red version of Allen Iowa Poga. See how that's all the reds on the top you won't get that on the regular wapoga those are line bred for that trait tight lid where are we at here where are we at head standards really nice cherry shrimp oh i'm going to show these because these are really good quality uh corridors punctatus look at the dots and just like even in 720 this fish looks really good and again, they're the Corridoras punctatus. Just look how good they look. I might have to bring some of these home. I don't know, but I, I already have some of these, but they don't look this good at all. Like these are just phenomenal. Love them. Oh, let's see. Do you remember the half beaks that I was in love with that were like $20, 25, 20 or 25? Oh, I was so close. The Kiungas? Yeah, these are, there's something else, huh? Wait till you see these in 4K, they look so good. Barring on the body, orange on the fins. Good size too. Yeah, they're big. They're. They're feisty, too. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, he's like, get away, rainbow. <laughs> they don't hurt anything, though. Well, unless it's a chili rat spore, they can swallow. Yeah, this is probably definitely a top five fish for me that right now at the warehouse. They're so cool. I wish I could show you these in person, but you'll have to wait for the video to see how cool they look. July 2nd and 3rd. Come see them in person. Yep, or just come in person. <laughs> Open house. Open house. Oh, this guy's flaring. They're too pretty, huh? Yeah. You can't walk very far in here without something grabbing your attention. It's just, like, I don't know if I've shown these. Pineapple Veltel, Albino. Again, not a huge Swordtail person, but those are cool. The Tiger Guppies, like, these really stand out. Like, just everything catches your eye here. Here's the opal, Kenny, if you're still here. Again, they're a little bit too small to be colored up. 
but there are some of them. I got one on camera earlier uh, that had a little bit of the opal, the blue. But yeah, that's, again, all these are gonna look way better when the video comes out. I, I'm pretty, getting pretty repetitive just because this is, does not look good, but. All right, check in the chat. What else do we got here? We call them green bowfin, really? The Nanakara Anomala green? What Corey are those? Regina Phalanges, uh, are you talking about the Punctatus maybe? Uh, is it impossible to get Corey's Habrosis anymore? It seems like nobody has them. There's like three here. Any blue eyes anywhere? Yeah. Uh, yeah, as Johnny says, uh, I think there's like two in the tank here. Yeah, the last ones I showed you are the Punctatus. That just look amazing. If I call them rainbows, they'll kick me out of Angfa. That's so stupid. Like, you guys know that rainbow fish has been like my favorite fish for a year, like a decade. But like the hardcore bowheads really piss me off. Oh, pseudomagills are not rainbow fish. Oh, Madagascar rainbows are not rainbow fish. Yeah, there's a, there, there is some pseudomagills in here. I just have to find them. Um, Celebes, but Celebes are so finicky. Like, I don't like saying that there's a rainbow fish that I hate, but if I was forced to, it would be the Celebes. And I just scared these all. These are the Vahedi, the Pistos that you can't see. I just scared them all. Sorry about that. Uh, but we're looking for some blue eyes. Oh, here we go right here. These are the Ivan Staffi, not that you're going to be able to see them. I can't, I can't reach this light. Oh, here we go. Scaring them towards the front a little bit. Come on. Sorry, not the best. I know. Um, I know there's some Gertrude Ar Aru 4 down here. Uh, they have some yeah, these, these, I gotta stop every time I see these. Ugh. I don't even like guppies, but those are beautiful. <sighs> Our roof fours are down here. Orange rice fish. I don't know why they're called orange, but there you go. And I might disconnect if I actually come all the way down. Where are they? Here we go. Again, I might disconnect, I apologize, but here are the Aru 4. Again, really hard to see anything, but maybe you can make out the, the yellows on the tips, like on this male right here. Barely make out the yellow, which is what makes them the Aru 4, I believe. I could be wrong. I don't want to spend too much time down here because this is where I disconnect. Um, I'm pretty sure we already saw all of these. The Coletti Tetras, I might have cut out when I showed these the first time. So these will get like a, a nice green sheen on their body with the uh, red tails. Love them. Chilothrina, we already covered those. We got the Gunthers, the Gunthers. I know that's not what they're called. There's a little friends reference there for y'all. Let's see. All right. And then there's there's Luminatus somewhere, but we've all seen Luminatus, right? We know, we know they're the best looking Pseudomagills out there. I thought they were in this row, but apparently not. There's some Fasten Creek rainbows, but not colored up. It's pretty late in the day right now for the rainbows to be colored up. Some really nice gardener eye killifish there. These were, I believe these were the second killifish species I ever owned. Um, check 
check chat again. Just the tip, Bob. Her, 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 her. Oh yeah, the uh, aquarium strain Gertrude, which are, what'd you say, O23? O, 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 one, 13. Looking for 23 here. 23, oh, all the way back here. 23, here you go. So if you're not really like a super bow nerd looking for a collection point, here are the, just the regular aquarium strain, Gertrude, which is obviously still a really beautiful fish. Nice yellows. And they have the little flippers. I mean, that's why we all like Gertrude's, right? Beautiful fins and, and flippers and you know what I mean. Look at them flip, 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 flip. All right. Here's a wonky banded loach. Oh, but here's something, the Loric, Loricaria simulima, simul, simula. Not really sure how to pronounce that. I can't even really see him. Well, I can't see him at all. So he's right here. A couple of them there. Wow, they blend in really well. Really neat. We're gonna call it that. Laura Carrier Simalima, Simalima, Simalima. Sure. Simalina, got with the uh, bumblebee, bumblebee gobies here, bumblebee atuna. Okay, little Ace Ventura for you. Fish Tori, secret history living in your aquarium. What's up, buddy? Can I see the rainbow shiners? Mike, for you, absolutely, my friend. Um, they're small. There's some big ones that might be down here. Nope. Oh, all the way down here, maybe. Yeah, here you go. There you go. And also some Pseudomagill Luminatus in there. So you'll notice there's only about six of them in there. So if you were to buy like 12 right now, you'd get six of those probably. And then, uh, of course, I don't work here. I'm just assuming. Uh, let me show you the smaller ones. But we, we showed them earlier, but they not a lot of color yet. But we all know how rainbow shiners are. Probably the only fish that takes longer than rainbow fish to color up now i'm not gonna find them that's how it goes hmm well you see you saw the big ones the other ones are just smaller there you go See if chat's back on my phone yet. No, I'm still frozen. Phone is still frozen. This is pretty awesome. Uh, what about what do you what do you want, Leo? I don't have chat, so somebody's calling me a you call me a ding dong. I'm a ding dong, so shove it. I I own it. I own my ding donginess. That sounded weird. Let's see. Are those raccoon tetras? There's, there are raccoon tetras here. No mascara bars, but I think he ordered some last night. I could be wrong. Um, maybe mascara in Rohan, I think. Oh yeah, Johnny, do you know where the 136B are? 136B. One thirty-six. I'll just ask Dan. Do you know where the one thirty-six B are? 
I found the 136 A. I thought we I thought we filmed some. Maybe that's why I can't find them because there are none, and I lied to you guys. Yeah. K10 or K11? What? They're on this side? <laughs> All right, K11. Kill. Uh, snails. All right, let me set the phone down. Orientation is locked. All right. All right, I'm gonna set the phone down, roll up my sleeves. All right. Flip over. I don't like sticking my hands in here, but I'm only gonna do this once because I don't want to cross contaminate. So I'm not gonna pull in any more tanks. So hopefully they're in here. One there. Anybody need snails? We got snails. Oh, there's shrimp in here too. This little guy. Hey, buddy. Oh, I just want to give you a little pet, a little head pat. Let's try this one. No. Look at these, look at these shrimp. These shrimp are wild. And they are, they are wild actually. Suluise. Can't even see them. What a bummer. There's probably, there's gotta be like 10 different species of Suluise shrimp in this warehouse. But they just don't come in come in on camera when they're that size. Oh, here you go. And there they went. Okay, he's on the glass. I'm gonna go very slow. Not slow enough. Stay there. Calm down. Hey, giving us a a peek there. All right. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right. There you go. All right. Why aren't our, all the fish in alphabetical order? That would be like impossible. I know you're kidding, but Or my next order is gonna looking like five hundred dollars. <laughs> see, see you later, fish time, Lando. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. The eels are so worth it. You know what? I think that's what how we're. Let's end the stream with the eels. Let's go. The eels will be a good sign off. I know you're looking at those eels. What are they like? Fifty bucks ish. Easily the coolest fish I've come across in a long time. And I'm in the wrong row, of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. I bet I could probably just live stream these eels, and okay. Let me go get the curtain. I'll be right back. hit my head okay I'm just peeking real quick make sure it's looking good all right there you go of 
course they all leave the vicinity. Well, this is way behind. Oh my gosh. Okay. This looks terrible. Let me see what I can do. I don't know why I didn't take the cover off. Let's try this. That's not any better. Maybe it's better. It's not, it's, this, is the, this is the black phone. I don't know why the, it looks white. But, all right. I'm going to move down here a little bit. Oh, no, they're starting to come out. Still doesn't look good at all. What if I change the angle here? There we go. Of course, nothing is in focus. Because why would it be in focus? I have a video coming out on the eels uh, this weekend, just so you know.
Yeah, I want an eel video from you too, buddy. So, the more the merrier. Like, you cannot have enough footage of this eel. They're, they're so active. Like, it's great. All right, let me know if you guys can hear me or not. Awesome. So I just connected my wireless mic. It's the first time I've ever used this mic. 